Good morning. It is looking blustery and cold and yucky out there today. But anyway, it's Friday. And you know what Friday means generally? It means yoga and then running errands all over the place. So um, yeah, let's go. We've got all sorts of places to go today. I believe we're going to the mall. I have some returns to do. And yeah, so anyway, get on your yoga gear and let's head out. Oh, I didn't make the bed. Are you one of those people that can't leave the house without making the bed? I will get to it. I just haven't done it yet because I can easily leave without doing this, but some people I know can't. <laughs> okay, that was nice. I'm back. Um, so funny because several times a year, I guess when the um, lawn worker people are doing their stuff, you know, outside the yoga studio, today was the day where they were decided they were going to be trimming all the bushes. And like at the very end of yoga, you know, all of a sudden right outside the windows where the bushes are, we hear chainsaws. <laughs> it's like nothing quite like chainsaws <laughs> to end your yoga practice for the day. <laughs> so we all got the giggles. Um, it's a lovely group of ladies. So we have a very good time there. Um, but yeah, chainsaws are a nice way to end the yoga day, huh? So I'm going to get cleaned up and then we're headed out to the mall. I have some returns to do and a couple things to look at. So... Time to get cleaned up. Clean up. Okay, it's just blustery and cold outside. So, and I do not like wearing coats in the mall. So I thought I would just put on this big comfy sweater that I got from a new day. I showed it in my Target haul. And just gonna wear this with some leggings and boots, be comfy, and just go there, get it done, and be warm and snuggly. So that's the plan. Okay, I have a story to tell you while I'm getting quickly um, fixed up. Um, we found out a couple nights ago that some random person, a man in New York, is receiving our family group texts. Um, we just have this, you know, text number that all four of us, both my daughters, my husband and I are on. So whenever we want to just say something to everybody, we text on that one. And many times we get into ridiculous conversations that are quite hilarious, actually. Or we're just all kind of fighting through where we're going to go for dinner or something, you know, like that, like normal family stuff. So um, anyway, this man um, texts all four of us, who is this? And so we're like, well, who are you looking for? How do you have our numbers? And he's like, I don't know. I just randomly started getting <laughs> this group, these group texts. So we're, of course, dying. And we're like looking through to see what in the heck ridiculous things we said. And there were some doozies, let me tell you. And um, so we're like, well, I can't imagine why on earth he would get these texts, right? So we're like, well, do you have the same you know, carrier that we do? No, he's not even on the same cell phone carrier that we have. So my husband's looking into that right now, but in the meantime, we're like, who else is getting things from us that, you know, we have no idea because they're not nice enough to tell us or whatever, and um, it's the oddest thing. So if I ever find out what it is, that is happening i will let you know because that's just kind of crazy so in the meantime we're all being very careful what we text each other because we're <laughs> not entirely sure who's watching but so far this man seems very nice but is that the weirdest thing it's kind of strange i don't like it anyway just wanted to share that with you when i finish getting ready also i wanted to tell you that a lovely subscriber friend of mine told me that my favorite palette from bare minerals the um Nature of Nudes is back at Ulta again. Yay! So I looked and I did see it there. I did find a backup of this on Amazon that I have in my closet, but I have hit pan on, you know, this one up here, which is one of my favorites. I put that all over the lid. Love these colors. They're just neutral browns, grays, whatever. So I'm all the time using these, love it. And then I also discovered when I went to try to purchase another one of these Stila um, smudge stick, waterproof eyeliners. I love the one in the color is trigger fish. It's this kind of a, not a very dark gray, but just a, you know, like a, a gray. I love it. I wear that more than any other color all the time. And I noticed that many of them are sold out of trigger fish or they're not even offering them in the color lineup. So I'm thinking, is that going to then all of a sudden go away? Why is it that all my favorite things just kind of go away. You know, do you feel that that's the same way too? The minute you find a favorite color or brand or something, all of a sudden it becomes really hard to find and no one else likes it or something. I don't know, but I love this color and I know many other people who do and I wear a lot of gray, so I don't know. It works well for me. So trigger fish, if you can find it, grab it while you can.
Also, while you're here, I'm going to show you my new um, favorite lip pencil. I've been wearing this. It's the MAC Lip Pencil in Dervish, almost nonstop. It's kind of like a perfect just go anywhere kind of on your lips color. And I basically have just been filling in my whole lips with it. And then maybe I'll usually add a little tiny bit of some sort of a balm or even a, like a little sparkly something. Um, just so it feels like it has a little bit of slip. But it's just a perfect color. It's not too pink, it's not too mauve, it's not too nude. I love it. Dervish. Did I tell you the color? It's dervish. <laughs> Gosh, it is cold. We have Christmas already, a little bit. that I got some returns made and purchased a few items I'll show you when I get home and it's freezing out here so I'm headed home let's go okay, now we need to head to the grocery store to pick up a few items for the weekend so that's where we're headed next I didn't realize we were doing that until like just a few minutes ago because I got a phone call about how we have no milk <laughs> that's how it works Times 10 cents each. Yes, please. Girly cries. Let's try that. All right, we're getting there. Oh my gosh, it's freezing out there. It like all of a sudden turned winter. I'm frozen. I thought this big bulky sweater would be plenty warm. No. Got groceries, headed home, let's unload. exciting I got this in the mail the um, Sephora holiday bonus um, first access thing for the Rouge which is 20% off from September <laughs> third through the sixth and then 10 for the 15th through for other beauty insiders and I'm so excited it came in this cute little 
package with all this information about using their gift wrap and all sorts of stuff. Um, whoa, hard to do one-handed. We have uh, different perfume samples. Fun, yay. I like it when there's something different that I haven't already smelled a hundred times. Very nice. Reach out and gift guide. Okay, nice. I've already started my list for all the Sephora things that I think are great to get during the sale and that video, I'm working on it. So we'll get that up in the next couple days. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm so glad I have the dates though because I didn't even know what dates they were. I just knew it was coming up. It's almost always in November. So yes, it's coming up fast. So I'll get on that real fast too. So these are the things I got at the mall at Zara. I got this sweater. It's just kind of a houndstooth looking kind of a knit. It's just simple, kind of light, um, flowy. I think it looks so cute with like dark jeans, um, like my black um, suede heeled booties and like a red, um, what am I trying to say? A red scarf, I think that'd be really cute. And then I also grabbed these two things when I was at Sephora like I need it, but you know, I've always wanted to try one of these Marc Jacobs. Um, let me try to get it open for you. One of their lip colors, and so I decided on this one. I think it's pretty darn perfect, and I think I will love it. And then I also got a um, highliner. One of their eyeliners, I hear they're absolutely wonderful, and so I decided to give that a try. And then I ran by MAC and got another lip pencil in dervish because it's just my all-time favorite and i'm pretty much using it constantly now lately and then i found um i got another velvet teddy it goes really really well with it so they work well together so that's my giant haul mm -hmm. so that pretty much takes care of the majority of my day um all the running around is finished the only things left to do are i have a little bit of work to do at my computer and then I will be making dinner, we'll be relaxing, and I want to start a new book sometime, probably uh, maybe tonight, but at least this weekend. So anyway, that's it. That's all there is to it for the day. I hope you had a good time with me. I always have a good time with you, and I will talk to you guys again real, real soon. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.